I'm looking around the shop and there is a proven intake with an intercooler built into it sitting around the shop that hasn't been used in a while. And that's the OG Leroy and Ruby. So I got to call up Garrett. He is out of town. So I'm thinking this is a easier ask for forgiveness than permission kind of thing. Maybe if he shows up and it's on the car, then he'll be like, all right, well, it's already done. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. We got four weeks until race week and I brought the car up to Cletus's shop and I'm starting to go through it and we got some things to move around. So in order to get a bigger radiator, we're gonna have to move the turbo back or move it over here, which means we're gonna need to relocate, redo this whole turbo kit, which really isn't that big of a deal. They said they can knock it out in about two days. So I'm gonna start pulling all this intercooling piping off. Got a fresh box from Motion Raceworks. Got a beautiful catch can. Gonna mount it up right here. Another thing that I'm doing that's super cool with the fuel is I have these quick release fittings from Jiffy Tight. And so what I'm gonna do is to be able to switch the car between E85 and pump gas, I'm gonna have those quick release fittings that are valved so that all I have to do is unplug one and plug it right into the other just to switch between fuel tanks and then the, for the power to each pump I'll just unplug pigtails and plug it into another one just to make it super easy. So really you're going to redo all of the turbo kit, add some strength to the cage, put in this big fuel cell, driver's seat, intercom system, catch can, run new fuel lines and that should be pretty much it to get her dialed. It's starting to get a little overwhelming, but like I said, I love this stuff. It's so fun. Another thing I'm gonna install is a rugged radio intercom system so that Spicy Spence and I can talk to each other as well as the other drivers while we're on race week. I need to put in a firewall in the back, but all these panels have been gutted, so I can't just buy a stock piece to put back here. Also need to relocate the air kit to the back for the more so that's sitting behind the firewall. That way we can use all this space for all of our gear when we're when we're traveling. So there's a lot of work to do on this car. We only have four weeks. I'm pretty much gonna be working on this thing every day, but I love this stuff. I love the process of this. I like seeing the car evolve over time, ordering parts, wait until pushing it until the last minute to get everything dialed and then you just got to send it. And so far inside the car, I took the water, the water tank out because we are relocating that to the back. For race week, I'll probably leave the cage in and just get a few more pieces to strengthen the cage. I do have another seat. Got this thing from Kirky. A little bit more beefy to hold the shoulders in. Gonna put the one that's existing in the driver's seat into the passenger seat and then put the bigger t seat in that I just got for the driver. In the back, I got the fuel cell pulled because right now it's only a five gallon for E85 and I got a bigger fuel cell. This is an aeromotive fuel cell that's rated for 1200 horsepower. It has a pump already built into it, which is nice. I'm still waiting on the water tank to arrive, but it's really just a 12 by 12. So given that I have this, the existing E85 tank and the water tank on the way, we can start mocking stuff up to get it dialed in it. All right guys, got most of the turbo kit pulled apart. Just have to pull off the exhaust side, 
and the radiator tomorrow and then move on to the intake manifold so just a few things left to have this thing apart and then fuel tanks are going in the back this is where we're at here let me see this oh it's gonna be tight it's gonna be real tight because we got to get another one this size in here yeah all right well the time crunch has begun like i said we got four weeks until race week and we're taking the car apart but this is what it's about all right well thanks for watching guys make sure you just leave me a subscribe a like a comment anything later oh mother's day shenanigans looks like garrett took the humvee in the pond dang it Yeah, I mean, maybe I should just try and start it. Maybe it was just that cylinder. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my no, brother it's helping not. me. That'd be nice, but... All right, you know what we should do is just pop this off too, and we'll throw like uh, something See over that? this at back. Yeah, this oh. is the bottom of the boot, so you know there's water getting in there. I think when those are fresh, the way they're supposed they're to supposed work, to there's close. a little bit of vacuum just closes it. But I mean, look at that. There's mm -hmm. just no way that was closing. No shot. You want to take that home with you? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put this in my pocket. <laughs> so on. Oh! Oh! Oh, biscuit. Oh, no! That was a horrible idea. Wow, great center of gravity. Oh, man. The snorkel's in. The snorkel's working, dude. It's working. Okay, the snorkel's falling under. It's under, dude. It's sealed. It's working. Oh. 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 All right, I guess I better go get my truck. Get hydro locked again. Oh. Right. Dude, she was holding for a while. Good. Sometimes you try new things and they don't work, so you keep doing it until it does. 